All right, what's going on, YouTube? My favorite YouTubians. It's your boy Love, Love Life Truck. Checking in with you guys here from, as you can see, from a hotel. Um, going to be starting orientation for this new thing I'm uh, setting out to do today. Like I said, um, it's not something I really willingly wanted to do, but I'm going to try to enjoy it one way or the other, right? Yes, it's still flatbed. I have no plans of doing anything else. I'm not have no plans of going back to drive in or anything else like that. And tanker could be one day in the future as well as like end up in your hopper bottom, but that's another story for another year. Um, we're gonna continue this flatbed journey because I'm loving that so far. Anyways, uh, today is day one of orientation. Um, and like I said, the main drawing point for what I'm doing now is simply because um, I need it to be closer to home and this is going to provide me with the way to be closer to home more often so that I could be there for my wife and kids because that's what's more important than any job out here. Shouts out to Boyd Brothers, by the way. They were very understanding of the process. They were very understanding of what I had to do. They even knew people who worked at the place that I was transferring to and called them to make sure they knew to be looking out for me when I got here. And they didn't have to do that. They could have been salty. They could have said, well, go on and you'll be back. You'll... They didn't do it yet. They never did that once. So shouts out to Boy Brothers, man. Top notch company for real. For me, my experience was top notch. And if things don't work out or things change at home where I'm able to get out and grind more, then I'll, I'll maybe look at them right back up and going right back over. In the meantime, guys, I'll let y'all know how day one goes uh, when I get back to the room later on. Holla. Hi, YouTube. Just made it out here to uh, where it's supposed to be having orientation at. Right now, I'm just out here outside in the yard waiting for day one to start. I'll let y'all know how it goes and uh, where I went to eventually but right now this is where i'm at just standing out here in the yard waiting to get the party started i'll let y'all know how day one goes when i find out how day one goes all right youtube uh we are done with day one of orientation day one went pretty good pretty smooth pretty chill day right typical trucker job orientation stuff of course day one you want to come in and um Basically, first thing we did was uh, make sure other drivers was finished with all their, their 10th Street driver post stuff. I had already finished mine, so I was just kind of chilling while they did that. Then we went to go take the uh, urine test. They do a urinalysis here. Uh, they don't do hair sample, they do a urinalysis. Um, after we all did that, well, we did a physical, not the physical, the agility test before we went to take the urinalysis. Uh, it's six of us in this orientation class. It's uh, five guys, one uh, one lady. And um, we all passed the agility test. Um, still waiting on the urine test results, but I don't think that's a problem because um, everyone here is an experienced driver, so they know what's at stake, I guess you could say. Anyway, day one went good. No real issues. Got a chance to talk to the ops manager um, because Boyd put in a word for me, apparently. So that was what's up. And um, had a chance to talk to the ops manager. Um, me and him chopped it up. He gave me his number. Um, so I'm you know, expecting the great things so far. Everything has been uh, great. Um, this one got me some windy. So there's a lot of good stuff within walking distance of here. Um, they put you up in a micro tail hotel. But right over here, there's a uh, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Wendy's. There's an Arby's across the street, um, Burger King, uh, Ruby Tuesday, there's a Walmart, all of this stuff within walking this Waffle House. So, uh, you know, as far as this, you know, local amenities to get some variation in food. They do feed you. They have a kitchen there that they do feed you during orientation. They only feed you lunch. They do not feed you dinner. So dinner is on you. 
Um, I drove my truck there this morning, but then rode the van back because I had to take my uh, truck to get DOT inspected, which uh, I'm not really tripping about. Um, that's something any typical company gonna do once you bring in your own truck, they're gonna DOT inspect it. But it should be good, I just passed the DOT inspection, so I don't, I don't see any issues coming out of that. Anyways, I'll let y'all know how day two go, and um, we're gonna keep it moving. All right, so all we did was the agility test today. Basically what that was, I'll let y'all know about that. Um, they have a ladder outside. You climb up to like the third rung and back down to the ground. You'll do that 15 times. Well, you climb up to the, yeah. And then they'll time you where you have to do 15. Well, you know, you'll climb up to the third rung up and down like two or three times. And then you'll do up to the second rung and back down or something similar to that. I may be confusing them about 15 times within two minutes, which is pretty easy to do. They'll have you pick up a tarp, put it on the trailer, put it back on the ground, and then pick up the tarp, it's an eight foot drop tarp, and walk it around the entire length of a trailer, and then put it on the trailer, and then put it back on the ground. Uh, ain't really nothing to it but to do it. Uh, definitely not as strenuous as uh, my test was over at um, Boyd. Anyways, with that being said, guys, I will check in with y'all tomorrow and keep y'all posted on how day two goes. Holla. All right, YouTube. Day two of orientation has wrapped up. I'm back here in the room. So today, basically what we did today is went outside, um, basically went through a, a simple basic uh, tarp folding class to show you how to do a different style of folding tarp than I was used to, uh, what they call like an airplane tarp. Uh, fold so I did do that um, that was interesting just to learn that much um, you know it was a mixture of us and some of the cats that are going through uh, their uh, beginner uh, flatbed training class so we basically tarped the load untarped it rolled up the tarp and that was pretty much it um, other than that today was basically you know a typical orientation day right sit in the class you do some paperwork, you go over some PowerPoint slides, uh, people give, you know, the, their, their speeches, and uh, that's about it. So day two was pretty smooth, uh, no real issues there. We lost one, we started off with six, uh, we're down to five now. Uh, unfortunately, the young lady that was in orientation class with us, she didn't return today. Um, I believe she got sick, so um, she ever runs across this, I hope you feel better. Um, if you haven't felt better by the time you ever would see it. Anyways, so day three is tomorrow. Um, basically with day three, I think we're going to be doing um, logging into the, all the, like the company apps, right? You know, every company has their apps they want you to log into for payroll and dispatching and, uh, you know, weigh my scale and the Wix car control app, all that different type of stuff you log into with every company you go to. So we'll see how that all plays out. Um, so far, company definitely uh, seems interesting. It seems like um, they'll be able to do what I need them to do that as much as I love board, I couldn't get done as much without sacrificing income, which was get home when needed. And like I said before, I don't need to get home every weekend. My wife don't need me home every weekend, but it's a um, permanent fix to a temporary problem because the temporary problem is that, you know, my wife needs me home and I don't really need to explain much more than that to, you know, to Boyd or to anybody on YouTube for that matter. My wife needs me home, I'll change whatever I need to to make sure I accommodate that. Ain't really much else to say. Day three is tomorrow. I'll let you guys know how day three of orientation went and uh, what to look forward to. So, see y'all tomorrow. YouTube. All right, so tell y'all about how days three and four went of orientation here. So, uh, yesterday, had a DOT officer come in, um, talk to the class, basically ask some questions, telling them what they look for when they do DOT inspections, how they determine the inspections, um, what would cause them to pull, can't talk, <clears throat> what would cause them to pull you over um, how things can escalate. For example, they can pull you over with the intention of doing a level three. Uh, depending on your attitude, they do have the, I guess, the discretion to 
scale that up to a two, then a one. You definitely don't want the level one inspection. That's that white glove inspection. Um, stuff like that. After that, we did a little ride around in the uh, company van as far as like Smith system. Y'all know how to do this. Typical trucker orientation stuff. And uh, a few PowerPoints. Uh, did some uh, paper logs. Stuff like that. Typical crap. So today being day four on uh, the last day of my orientation because I have experience. If I was not experienced, I would have three more days of orientation, what they call their flatbed 101 class. But because I am experienced, I don't have to go through uh, low security. So with that being said, uh, today being day four, all we really did today was we got our driver code, so I'm able to log into the uh, company apps and stuff like that. Um, I am um, had to get a DOT inspection on my truck. I end up did hearing from that. It did. It got did yesterday, but um, I just found out today that they were saying that my slack adjuster, some, the rod that's supposed to go in, it wasn't even connected. So they got to insert a rod there. Um, they said I had a air leak on the right rear airbag or something. So they're gonna uh, right where a hose. It's an air hose at the back. <laughs> it was a valve. Sorry, not a hose. It was a valve back there in the back that they have to fix. It had a slow leak. And they said that my oil filter was loose, so it was uh, slowly leaking oil, but they'll just tighten that back up. Um, also, they're gonna install my inverter for me, which is pretty cool. Um, they're only charging a $90 hourly rate, which is hard to beat anywhere these days. Uh, so they're gonna uh, charge that for me. They're not gonna take it out all the front. They're gonna just break it down out of my settlements uh, over time, which is cool because that lets me get up and run and go ahead and make some paper. And, um, you know, stop me from going broke off the top. And that's fine. I don't care about them finding little stuff because I'd rather get it fixed here and now before, you know, you mess around and find out on that road and you sitting on the side of the highway somewhere, you know, and you jacked up a load because, you, you know, your stuff out of alignment. Anyways, y'all, y'all don't want to hear about that. So I'm pretty much done today. Like I said, got my driver code. We ate good today. We had some fried chicken, mac and cheese, lima beans, and sweet tea and some uh some cake <laughs> so pretty good right anyways guys um i know y'all been watching this video like man what company did he go to what company did he go to um i'll tell y'all tomorrow uh, i'll do a whole company reveal tomorrow if some of y'all ain't already guessed by now it's not where you think but um we're gonna have some fun they got some good lows here i've already seen some lows that are paying dividends we're going to try to how to holler at some of those loads. I'll catch y'all tomorrow when we do the whole company reveal. Yo, so, happy, happy Friday, YouTube. In case you want to know where I'm at, I will tell you where I went. We'll talk about it another time why I went. But this is the company I decided to go to. Yep, Shelton Trucking. Got my military decal. A veteran sticker right there, go Army. Um, there's a lot of reasons I decided to come here. The main reason is that when I want to be home, I can get home. It's really that simple. Like I said, you have to do what's best for your family. I absolutely enjoyed my time at Boyd. Highly recommend it. Things don't work here, I'd go back. And we'll talk about that in the review video. But right now, this is where I'm at. I'm about to go pick up my first load of copper. So yeah, I'm about to go pick, uh, pick up my first copper load. I'm gonna go hook up to an empty trailer. Um, they do a lot of copper here, and steel and lumber, of course. So I'm about to go hook up to my very, uh, go hook up to an empty trailer over here that they're finishing up in the shop. I'm hook up to that, go preload some copper, go get some copper loaded at the port in Panama City. And then I'm going to bring it back here. And then they have a preloaded copper here that I'll run over to uh, Carrollton, Georgia. And uh, from there, I'll be picking up a load in Axis, Alabama tomorrow. I'll go home with that load, get up Sunday, and I'm sliding to North Carolina. Same old journey. Ain't nothing changed but the name on the side of the truck. The journey still continue, though. And I will holler at y'all on the next episode. We'll check Mosey.